Hello there, my name is Ronnie K and welcome to another video where we're going to make a simple menu algorithm with C++. All you need to have for this one is a basic knowledge of C++ and of course IDE you can work within me myself. I'll be using a dev plus plus of course you're more than welcome to use anything you feel comfortable within and uh, the menu is going to look like this we're going to have a like main page with uh, three options about page contact page or quitting the program so if you choose make your choice choosing one it will take us welcome this is an about page and then you have two options either going back to the main page which is pressing one taking us back to the main page, I, the other option was quitting. And the same thing for the option two, contact page, we're going to the contacts, here are some contacts, and another two options, main page or quitting. So if we are pressing one, it will take us back to the main page, but if we choose number two right here, it will execute the process and the program is finished. So let's get to the work. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna create uh, pages, three pages. We're gonna have main page and we're gonna store them in the functions. So let's make a void function. It's called um, uh, main uh, menu. Let's call it the main menu. And I will declare function right here on top of the main function, but I will describe what the function has to do underneath it. It is uh, something to do with the hierarchy, how the algorithm works. It always works from top to the bottom. So if the function is declared on top, uh, it doesn't matter which one of them, uh, in which case of, in like, I mean, in which order they are written, they always can call them from underneath here and get the job done. Uh, right there, let's uh, also, Write it under here. Void main menu main menu open curly brackets and right here we're gonna write in everything we need for it. So we're gonna have three pages, right? One of them is main menu, other one is the about function, and the third one was the contact contact page right there let's describe first the main menu uh, first things first let's uh, clear the screen clearing the screen and let's create some content So, see out. Let's take a copy of this. First one is going to be the title. Let's uh, take it two notches down, down from the top. Get slightly to the middle and say, Welcome to the main menu. That's done. New line. And within the new line, we have again going to have a few options. So control V. Let's get it a little bit lower as well, just for the visuals. The first option is going to be about page. About page, we need to choose one. Uh, next one, we got the contact page. Mm -hmm. The contact page. You know what? I'm going to take these lines off so I can have nice everything in columns. Contact page is going to be number two. And we had some more options. Another option was to quit. And for quitting, 
we choose number three. And new line right there. And uh, the fifth C out is going to be prompt for the user to input something. Uh, I mean, the choice one, two, or three. So C out. Uh, make your choice. And right here, we're going to ask for user to put something in and we're going to store it into the input variable, which we haven't declared yet. And we're going to declare it locally right here in the main menu function. So int input. No need to assign anything because nothing is needed for now. We will assign within the sin input. So when this is done, now we're going to have to set an if statement what to do after the input has been chosen. So if input is equals to one, what we're going to do, we're going to call them about function, which will open as the about page. So about function, a function we have about called right here for the typo, good that we checked. So void about function is being called. Else if, else if input is equal to number two, right? Then we are going to call the contact function, which we have created up, up here. No typos this time. So contacts functions being called. And the last thing I guess is the else if. The input is equals to number three. In this case, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to create a Boolean, which will be the global Boolean, Boolean for quitting. So pull quit equals to uh, false equals to false. So and if the number three is chosen, we're changing quit boolean to true. This will be needed in the, within the main function when we're actually going to call the function. So it's going to be a do while loop, but we're going to get there. So we got finished our main menu function right here. It is done. Let's just get the next one about function. So void, void about function, open brackets. So what we're going to do, we're going to copy some things from here. We're going to take the screen cleaning and uh, input integer locally, which we'll use in every page separately. And then uh, let's copy the C outs because it's going to be almost the same with this, some small modifications. Let's see. Welcome to the main menu. This we can change. This we can change to the. This is the about page. Good enough. And the first choice, we're not going to go where we are already. But we can go back to the main page. So it's going to be menu. Main menu, good enough, yes. And um, we're not going to have number three. We're going to have number two, so we'll just delete the number two. Because within the About page, we're not going to have a link. We, we could make a link to go to the contacts as well, but uh, for the sake of the video, we're going to make a link going back to the main page and link for quitting, which quitting is going to be number two. And, of course, make your choice, sin input, and if statement, what are we going to do with these choices? So if the input equals to one, we are calling the main menu function again. And the drill starts all over. And if the, I mean, else, if the input is equals to two. This 
I mean, according to the choice, it means quitting. So let's just change the quit boolean to true. Done with this. Very quick and simple. Of course, you can always add more information and text and anything else if you want to uh, spend the time on the page. But it's all about the idea. And the third page or function that we had is a contact. So let's create that one. So void. void contacts and basically it's going to have everything exactly the same like uh, about function so let's just take a copy of everything we have inside paste let's just change the, the title this is about page uh, can change it to thousand and Thousand one passion, and once again, main menu one, quitting two. Make your choice. Send input if input is one. Main menu function is driven, and else if input is two, quit is quit boolean is set to be true. Same right here, and same right here. We got all the functions done. So let's get straight to our main function. And main function is going to be very simple. All we're going to do here is going to make do while loop. So do while while the um, quit quit is not true. So while the quit is false, he's going to keep running as soon as it gets to the true. One option is to get it here in the main menu or in the about section or in the contact section, quit can be set to true, and then the while loop will stop running. But first we have to call the main menu. So main menu function is called, uh, one semicolon. Right, that's called, and after quitting, in case if it quits, we can clear the screen. So let's test it out. Hopefully no. Yes. Expected semicolon right after the do while loop. Let's see what else we got. We got all right in put not impus. Typos, typos, typos. Let's see. Do we have any more? Seems like not. Right there. About. I mean, uh, welcome to the main menu. About page. Choosing number one. Taking us to the this is an about page. Two options, mind menu or quitting. Let's go back to mind menu. And once again, we get the initial three options. About page, contact page, or uh, quitting. Let's go for the contact page with number two. Once again, contact the 1001 passion. Two options, main menu, quitting. Let's get back to the main menu. And let's choose the third option, quitting. And that's how it quits. Thank you for watching this video. This is not the only way how to make menus. Uh, uh, looking forward to explore more ways and making new videos. Once again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.